booktube it's Eleanor here and today I'm going to be talking about my September TBR it's got lots involved in this TBR but um, I'm not going to talk about the books in too much detail some of them I have mentioned before I didn't get a chance this month to do the autism uh, books that I really wanted to get to um, and to give them enough attention so I will be reading all the books that I've picked up and uh, brought together to do some kind of series talking about books that have autistic characters or autistic themes within them so I'll just quickly show you those books I won't talk much about them because I will be doing some more in-depth videos on these maybe a series of three or four videos or something over the month so let's just talk about those books very briefly the first two are The Rosie Project and The Rosie Effect by Graham Simsium Next I have uh, Best Laid Plans by Kathy Lett. This is a book which is based on Kathy's own experience with her son who has autism, although it is a fictional novel. Next is a non-fiction called Odd Girl Out by Laura James. This is about Laura's story of discovering that she was autistic in her 40s, I believe. So all her life she didn't realise um, what it was that she, um, she had and what made her a little bit different and she was diagnosed in her 40s with autism so I think this will be a really interesting story and something I haven't heard um, uh, covered in either fiction or non-fiction before. Next I have Mockingbird by Catherine Erskine. This is a YA uh, novel containing an autistic main character. I have The Reason I Jump which is by Naoki Higashida and introduced by David Mitchell. This was then translated by uh, K.A. Yoshida and David Mitchell and is a non-fiction book about a young boy um, and it's done in sort of a question and answer style and look at this looks at uh, a young boy with autism. Next I have The State of Grace by Rachel Lucas. This is a YA book involving a girl with Asperger's. I have Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I believe this has an autistic character in it too. I have The Original Ginny Moon by Benjamin Ludwig and this has a girl with autism as a main character and I think it might be a thrillery type story but um, I'm not 100% sure. So those will be the books that I will be looking at doing a series on um, involving characters or um, themes of autism. I will of course be continuing with the reading quest which I've been doing which finishes midway through this month and I'm doing separate TBRs and wrap ups for those quests so keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that. The welcome prize books that I will be reading this month are The Emperor of All Maladies by um, Siddhartha Mukherjee which is a tome so I I shall be uh, wading through that and um, I'm really excited to read that actually it's been one that's been on my uh, wish list or TBR list for a long time that is a non-fiction book looking at cancer and also Turn of Mind by Alice LaPlante. Then uh, the slip that we pulled out for Shelf Slam this month is uh, the theme or the sort of challenge this month is to read hardbacks. I'm going to struggle with this a little bit and I'm not going to put myself under too much pressure to do this because I have got other things that I want to be doing um, but I will be partaking in um, SFF September which is something that has been sort of pushed forward and created by Becky from Becky bookworm and I will be reading a number of books for that well as many as I can so let me quickly show you all the books that I got off my shelf that I thought might be good for this challenge there's a fair few books here um, a lot of them are ones that have been on my TBR for a while ones that I'm kind of fancying that I think are going to be quite quick fast-paced reads and what I'm in the mood for so firstly I'm going to be buddy reading Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie with um, Becky so I'm really excited about that because um, I've been meaning to get to this for ages and it's a bit intimidating so I'm hoping buddy reading it will help and then let's go through some of these most of these are um, sort of sci-fi space operas so I think they're going to be fun and a lot of them are starts of a series so I just want to get through them and see if they're series that I want to continue with the first one is the first in Lois McMaster Bujold's series and this is Cordelia's Honour um, this book actually I think is a bind up of two books um, Shards of Honour and Barrier I think that is right. Um, so I want to read this one and it's a space opera. 
Next up is With the Lightings by David Drake. I just love these uh, mass market covers. They're very interesting to say the least. This is the start of a series I believe and again is a space opera. I've got The Abyss Surrounds Us by Emily Skrutsky. Uh, this, I hope you can see. It's a bit shiny, these covers. Um, this says, Cass has fought pirates her entire life, but can she survive living among them? Um, it's got sea monsters um, and training sea monsters and all sorts. So I shall be interested in this. And it looks like maybe it's set at sea. So I think it's science fiction, but we shall see. Um, and then I have Beacon 23 by Hugh Howie. I really love Hugh Howie. I loved Wool Shift and Dust, which was a trilogy. I thought it was really clever. Um, so I'm really interested in trying this one out. This one involves um, uh, lighthouses, but I think these lighthouses are in space. It's the 23rd century. Um, it's uh, talking about these people that man these lighthouses in space. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I've got Grim Space by Anne Aguirre. I've never read any of her books. I've heard this one's quite fun and fast paced. It's got a kick-ass uh, female character. Um, and I think it's involving sort of jumping between ships, uh, jump ships through Grim Space. Um, who knows, I'm sure there'll be fun and frolics and space adventure. I've got Steal Across the Sky by Nancy Cress. A lot of these are mass market paperbacks, so unfortunately they're not very pretty. Um, this one is about three ordinary people chosen for reasons no one understands to undertake a journey no one on earth could have imagined. An alien base has appeared on the moon. Um, and it's about these people going to the moon to discover what these aliens are doing. Could be good. I've got Robopocalypse by Daniel H. Wilson. This is set in the near future with artificial intelligence. Um, in it's, I think it's where um, sort of a robot war ignites and technology turns against the humans. I'm hoping it's gonna be like Robocop because I loved those um, films, so we shall see. And finally, another one I picked up. Oh no, there's two more, sorry. This one is Roboteer by Alex Lamb. I've had this for ages. It says, one species, one universe, two sides. The human race has spread to the stars. Those few who live in the wastes of space have been forced to adapt themselves with technology and genetic modification. For the billions left on Earth, trapped in squalor and gripped by a new religious further, those who have tampered with human form are heretics and so the unequal war begins. Da -da -da! Looking forward to that one. And then finally is a hardback. Yay, so it will hit my challenge for Shelf Slam, at least one. And that is From Darkest Skies by Sam Peters. This again involves sort of AIs. It's about a man whose wife has died five years previous. He creates her as an AI with her thoughts, I think. We'll find out what happens after that. There's so many here to be choosing from, um, so I'm sure I won't get through all of them, but I'm gonna try as many as I can. Have you read any of these? Any you can recommend to start with? Let me know, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye for now, BookTube.